Make Naira Bets your home for online horse racing and betting. Use Naira Bets to bet on live horse racing from around the world. Bet from anywhere, anytime using your computer or mobile device. Earn valuable reward points on bets. Play in our exclusive promotions and earn cash rebates. Sign up at NairaBets.com and start earning your sign-up bonus today. Naira Bets, racing's best play. Sign up to Naira Bets and get a $200 bonus. Naira Bets, racing's best play. Happy Derby weekend to everybody out there, Maggie Wolfendale and Richard Migliori, along with you to take you through the all stakes pick four leading into the Derby. And we're starting here, Meg, with the American turf. But always use your Naira Bets account. And if you're a first time member, you get that $200 sign up bonus using the promo code Derby. So we'll start things off here, though, Meg, and looking at that American turf, a grade two, we're going a mile and a 16th for the three year olds here on the turf. And I think we got to start the conversation with the horses that come out of the Transylvania. I think that was a key prep race where we see big sc score, Holiday Stone, as well as our Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf winner, Oscar Performance. Yeah, and Oscar Performance to me needed a race. You know, you think back to last summer when he made his first start, he just maybe not quite as sharp as he's going to get. And, and he also rated this time more than I've ever seen him before. And that was something they were working on Maggie in the mornings, putting him in behind horses. Now, he didn't break good, so he got covered up. But I think he's going to shake the ring rust off, and I think he'll be much tougher in this spot. He also adds Lasix for this second try here as a three-year-old. Now, if he is able to rate, it'll be a good thing because I think we have a confirmed speed horse in Conquest Fahrenheit for Peter Miller coming in from California. Yeah, Conquest Fahrenheit so fast. He was actually on the pace down the hill, six and a half, where they went 21-43 flat. So you know he's the speed of the speed. Right. You don't want to get engaged with him. And, and we've seen you know, uh, Oscar performance sit just off the pace how he won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf last year. And I see him getting that kind of same trip with that first run. I agree with you there. And one that we haven't seen since the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf is Good Samaritan in here. And really, his two-year-old form is nothing to scoff at here for, for Bill Mott. But it's a pretty big task to ask a horse to come back in a grade two off that long of a layoff. Yeah, coming off the bench to take on this tough a field. I mean, this is a very accomplished field. Mm -hmm. and, and if you don't like Oscar performance, there's a lot of other ways you can go. Now, I thought this horse had a tough trip in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf last year where he was only beaten a length and a half to Oscar performance. But if he had a race under his belt, he might be the direction I'm going. Right. But he's got the right right conditioner to get him ready. That's true. Belmont, very good, and knows how to get these turf horses, especially these routers, ready to fire off the bench. Next, we'll move on to the Churchill Downs. It's for the sprinters going the 7-8s in here. And at face value, Mig, it doesn't appear on paper, at least, that there's a lot of speed. So I think a lot of people will gravitate, gravitate to the California Invader. That is masochistic. Now, he's only been out of California about three times, I believe, in his life, though he did break his maiden at Churchill. And he was quite impressive that day. Victor Espinosa on the undercard of California Chrome's Derby. Um, and, and he just ran off and, and won by himself. He's a very good horse. He could have a big tactical advantage speed-wise. Although sometimes I think on Derby Day, you know, the atmosphere kind of lends itself to riders getting a little hyped up. Bigger fields. Guys want position that they sometimes go a little quicker than you would anticipate. But Masochistic does look like he stands out as the main speed. The other thing that stood out to me about this race, you have a lot of older horses. When yeah. I mean older, five six, seven, and eight-year-olds. I know, and it's really cool that these horses stick around. And we'll actually talk about one of the younger ones that does come out of the same same race as Masochistic that beat him last time out in that triple bend, a grade one at Santa Anita. And I thought this was a huge performance and a big step up for this Doug O'Neill trainee. Well, you know, Den Denman's call under uh, um, Tyler Bays rode him last time, rides him back here. He stalked the pace. He attended. Masochistic pretty much had everything his own mm -hmm. way, and he got run down with no excuses. I didn't see any visible excuses excuses anyway. So he get, he projects to get a similar trip as, as this, the triple bend outside stalking. Now, Tyler Bays doesn't ride at Churchill Downs a lot. Right. He's a rider that does like to get involved. So you, you hope he doesn't go after him too early right. and set it up for some of the back runners. And I got a crazy idea about one of them. All right, well, hold on. we yep. got to get to one of those seven-year-olds, one of my favorite horses of all time. That's number five, clearly now, who finally put it all back together again for trainer Ron Fauché uh, in that allowance rate race at Gulfstream Park. And as you said, he finally broke again. 
Yeah, I mean, he's gone through a period clearly now where he just breaks a length or two slow, and it, it's so hard to overcome that when you're racing against accomplished sprinters. Well, he broke with his field, he got position right away last time at Gulfstream, and he sealed the deal. This was the clearly now we know he can be. We saw him win very impressively here at Belmont in a very fast uh, seven for a long time. Yeah. So we know he's capable, and the key to him is if he breaks, and last time, he certainly had no problem. Well, one where it doesn't matter if he breaks necessarily that well, because he's come from behind her. It's a big price here. The MIG bomb has dropped on number four, Apprehender. I just think this horse is a horse that can get a piece of it. I, mm -hmm. You know, if, if some guys get too involved early, let's say Denman's call goes after masochistic, you know, somewhere around the half mile pole or middle moves in there and things get hot. This is a horse that consistently closes. I think the seven furlong suits him. He's already won at Churchill Downs and he's going to be a huge price. So mm -hmm. if there's a meltdown, I, I'm not certain he can win. Maybe he's not fast enough, but this is a horse... I'm going to take a long, hard look at from my exotics. And if the track is wet, he is uh, pretty good over a wet track. He's won two of his eight starts there, which is better than a lot of horses in that Churchill Downs. But Turf, Hill Cl Turf Classic, grade one, mile and an eighth year. I think we have to start the discussion of the one with the one-two finishers from last year. That is Davisi Darrow and World Approval. Well, and I think we both agree. Davisi Darrow is two for two at Churchill Downs. Now, the mm -hmm. turf course at Churchill Downs is a sand-based course. It tends to be a bit looser. Some horses that like turf other other places don't handle it as well there. So I think that's a big check mark in his favor. Not only is he a good horse, he handles that course well. Yeah, and it's interesting, though, too. You know, we talked about the rain. They're going to get rained on and what the condition the turf course is going to be in because several of these horses, despite being older-type horses, don't have that much experience over um, softer courses. But world approval, he has run well with a course with Given It, and he's coming in off of a, a good effort um, for his first start back. It was an easier type of spot against Florida Breds, but he, he handled it pretty nicely. Well, that's the kind of race you'd like to see. That's When you talk about prep races, you want to win your prep races, but if you can win them the right way and have horse left, you know, finish the deal and not take a lot out of them. And I think it's a great race to build off of. And this horse is ultra consistent. I mean, seven wins from 19 starts. He knows his way to the winner's circle. But a horse that might be keeping him company on the front end, end is number eight, Beach Patrol, who did set pretty honest fractions going back to that Gulfstream Park turf handicap. He was DQ'd. He did drift out badly under left hand at urging, but I thought it was a big step in the right direction. Well, and he ran really, to me, very legitimate fractions. 47 flat, three quarters, mm. and 10 and one. I mean, he mm. ran right along, and he hung in there, and he almost gave the impression that if he had seen the eventual winner, Almanar, who was so far so away far from out. him, that maybe he would have had more of an answer. He's definitely a fighter, um, and he's a horse that if they let him alone, he's going to be tough. they got to respect him. Can't help believing will come in off of a long layoff. Grand Motion this time around. He's pretty good with bringing horses back off long layoffs as well. And you mentioned about this guy's work tab at Fairhill. Well, you know, coming off the layoff, and, and I just looked at some of his company lines, and this is why I kind of got to thinking about mm -hmm. him more. You know, you got Flincher in there. He wasn't far off a of world approval. And I love the work tab. And I'm not a... You, I'm not a time guy. Right. I, I like consistency in the spacing of works. And he's been working like clockwork every seven days. And he's been working well. Anybody can have him ready off the bench. It's grand motion. And there's no flinchers in here. No, there's not. There's no superstars. It's kind of everybody searching for the head of the class as far as that marathon turf uh, condition is concerned. But it's all about the three-year-olds after all on Derby Day as we look at the grade one Kentucky Derby. And just a reminder, if you hit the exacta in the Kentucky Derby, you get that 10% winner's bonus. And make sure you check out NairaBets.com for more details. And it's only for mobile device users only. So the Kentucky Derby here, Meg, uh, we have to start by talking about the the favorites and we'll begin with um uh, irish war cry to me yep. he's getting a lot of buzz down there since he shipped in on monday at churchill downs we're checking him out in the wood memorial to me he's been the most dazzling i know his fountain of youth was disappointing but this is a good effort and he's one of the only horses to post two triple digit buyer figures i, I like a lot about this wood memorial the fact that he rated as kindly as he did you know mm -hmm. uh, he, he rajiv mirage was able to put his hands down and he kind of floated along he waited for his riders cues that's so important particularly in a big field particularly going a mile and a quarter that horse and rider have some simpatico going on and we saw rajiv mirage gallop this horse leading up to the wood memorial for a few days to get comfortable and used to him Ride him that well in the uh, um, in the Wood Memorial. I almost mm -hmm. said Kentucky Derby, <laughs> and um, then he worked him at Fair Hill the other day. So I, I like that they've really gotten to know each other, and there's confidence there. And I think my original opinion of this horse was a mile and a quarter. 
And the more I look at him, I think he can do it. It's just the way he moves. I, I think he will be able to. And he's got the right kind of style where he's not going to be hampered um, by, you know, too much traffic. He has a forward kind of running style, but he's not quite that rank as a horse that has shown he can be at least in the mornings at Churchill Downs so far always dreaming. They did change up some of the training tactics with him. Let's hope that he can be a little bit kinder in the hands of Johnny V. You know and, and when Johnny V worked him he seemed to kind of get along with him and, and mm -hmm. run into his hands and he definitely was keyed up. I, they, they put draw reins on him. They changed exercise riders. Um, this horse is, is just a big impressive horse and I like the fact that He's going to also set up his own trip. He's fast enough to, to get sure. position, but he's not uh, committed to, to the lead. And he also has a turn of foot, and we saw it there. Now, um, I, I know he's by Bodie Meister, but doesn't he have that Uncle Mo kind of stride, that long, you know, downhill kind of stride? Yes, covers that a lot downhill, of ground. Downhill, exactly. Kind of lowers himself like a sports car, and it accelerates very nicely. Um, a, a long shot, my long shot play coming out of the race is also State of Honor. I just like the way he's been training. I liked his work heading into this Kentucky Derby. Um, next, we move on to ones coming out of the Arkansas Derby. That includes Classic Empire, Breeders' Cup Juvenile uh, winner of last year. But, boy, he's had a lot of stops and starts on the road to the Kentucky Derby. And, and honestly, that's why I don't like him. Now, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm friends with Mark Cassie. I, I, I would love to see him win a Derby, and I'm sure one day he will. But I think there's been so many interruptions in his training first from a physical perspective and then from a mental perspective he can be a little tricky sometimes he doesn't want to train um, and he got it done here I just think that there were some other horses in here that had trips that maybe could have turned the tables on him if they had better better trips than they received here um, at a short price I can't take him I can't either uh, he just doesn't have the conditioning heading into this derby but a horse that you may have seen maybe running twice as far as some of the other horses in there was looking at Lee, who's going to be your long shot play. And you yeah. watched him weaving in and out of traffic in that Arkansas Derby. Yeah, you know, you, you think kind of like uh, Tony Dorsett or one of these great running backs, you know, just try a broken field kind of right. running, looking for that spot, never really having any continuity in his run. Now he does get post one and he's going to have to overcome traffic again. He gets Corey, Corey Lannery, who uh, knows Churchill Downs well. I, I, I think this is a horse that could be picking up pieces if other horses start falling apart. He certainly certainly showed it there in the Arkansas Derby. Well, that'll do it for Megan and I on this Derby Day. A pick for best of luck. Don't forget you get that 10% a winner's bonus in the exacta for the Kentucky Derby and if you haven't signed up for Naira Bets, do so now because it's a great promo. Enter Derby in. You'll get $200, uh, $200 bonus back if you sign up through NairaBets.com. Uh, so thank you for joining us. Wishing everybody the best of luck on this Kentucky Derby Day card. From the Meg and I, we'll see you later.